from Paris Auto Speedway in Paris, California, it's time for the Napa Auto Parts Auto Trader Magazine's SCRA Sprint Cars. Hi everybody, I'm J.R. Ibarra. Welcome to the pass for a very special night of racing. What makes tonight so unique is the fact that we have 50 laps on tap for the main event other than the usual 30. So earlier today we had a chance to talk to some of our drivers to get their perspective on what their strategy is for a 50 lap main event. Tonight you're looking at 50 laps versus 30. Anything different strategy wise? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you got to kind of cruise a little bit. You know, a sprint car race, usually we get uh, the green flag and we sprint. So uh, we're going to take the time tonight and drive around for 15, 20 laps and see what the racetrack does, see what people are doing, and probably get some reds and some yellows and uh, let that play part of our strategy and go from there. Uh, it's it's a sprint race, man. I mean, it's, you know, from lap one to 50, if you let someone get out from you know, from from the pole or you know second or third row, they can take off from us and you know hide from us. So it just depends where you start. You know, uh, there's really no strategies in sprint car racing. You know, anything can happen from lap to lap, and you know the race isn't over till the checker flag drops. So uh, believe me, we'll have our we'll, we'll be we'll be having our elbows up the whole time. Oh, it'll be pretty much the same deal here at Paris. Just uh, you know. Hopefully everybody's got a little bit smaller fuel tanks, 50 laps. Uh, hopefully we'll have a yellow and be able to add a little bit of fuel. Otherwise fuel could be a little bit of an issue uh, as far as running out. And, uh, you know, the latter half of the racetrack will be slicker than normal. And, uh, you know, hopefully it'll be to our advantage. I'm going to have to pull that helmet strap tight so it'll keep my head over here. Uh, no, just make the main event. Same thing, make the main. Be a, you know, being a rookie and just laps. Need to get as much seat time as I can. and be smooth and consistent. Well, as you can see, all the teams are beginning to file onto the front straightaway to get ready to push off for 50 laps of action with the Napa Auto Parts Auto Trader Magazine's SCRA Sprint Cars here at Paris Auto Speedway. Tonight's action with the SCRA is being brought to you by Napa Auto Parts. We keep America rolling. And by Auto Trader Magazine. Stay with us. We'll have the wingless warriors of the SCRA coming your way right after these words. Welcome back to Ferris Auto Speedway as we're set to do battle for 50 laps of racing. But let's first take a look at our starting lineup in the main event. In the front row, it's Mike Kirby along with Rip Williams. Jeremy Sherman along with Gary W. Howard in row two. Row three made up of Steve Osling along with Bobby Graham and it's Richard Griffin and Corey Cruzman in row four. Row five, it's Charles Davis Jr. along with Damien Gardner. Ricky Gaunt and Adam Mitchell make up row number six. In row seven, it's Mike English along with Vern Sweeney. Row eight, it's John Scott along with Charlie Ekis. Row nine is made up of Michael Hendrickson and Brian Bernard. Row 10 is Jack DeArmond Jr. along with Rodney Argyle. And in our final row, it's Bobby Cody along with Greg DeCarez. All these racers transfer to the main event by virtue of running in the top four within their own heat races. Four separate heat races run this evening. One of those who did not make it to the main event is Tony Jones in the 87 Sprinter. Unfortunately, he had some difficulties in both his heat and a semi-main, so that will obviously hurt him in the points chase. But it's the veterans, Mike Kirby and Rip Williams, bringing the pack slowly into four, and we are green. Already three wide as they come down the main straightaway. And it looks like Kirby will lead the pack as they come out of two. Mike Kirby, Rip Williams, Gary W. Howard, your top three runners. Steve Osling running fourth. We look further back in the back. Corey Kuzman stuck in the middle there of that mix. And Kirby leads them out of two once again. Kirby now extending his lead to about six car lengths. Uh, Williams able to close the gap just a bit as they come out of four. As we look back in the pack again, there's the likes of Charles Davis Jr., Jeremy Sherman, and Ricky Gunt. Back up front to Mike Kirby, the veteran out of Torrance, California. Now Rip Williams closing that gap even further. So Kirby, who once had a lead of about six car lengths, has dropped a bit, but those front wheels come up with some traction as he comes out of four. Williams now going to go top side and see if there's any traction up there. And he closes the gap even through there as they come into three. Going to try top side again and maybe loses a little bit of ground to Kirby. Steve Osling there in the 29 Fisher Motorsports Sprinter. He's out of Corona, California. And 
Kirby very content right now to keep things down low and try to maintain that lead here in this 50 lap main event at Paris Auto Speedway. There you see once again wheels coming up as they come out of four. Mike Kirby, the one-time 1993 CRA Sprint Car Champion, is looking for his second win of the season here in 2002. He's currently driving a Stinger chassis powered by RC Performance engines under that hood. Gary W. Howard out of Fontana, California, and that number 25 Sprinter currently runs in third position. And now Williams is going to try to keep things down low along with Kirby and uh, match stride for stride that same pace that Kirby is setting. Rip Williams himself, a longtime veteran of the Sprint Car Wars, has about 81 victories to his credit when you combine both CRA and SCRA totals to his uh, victory column. Once again, we look further back, and there you see now the likes of Corey Cruzman running in the top five. Who's been your 2001 series champion here in SCRA? Well, we are under green, but we're going to have to step aside for a short break as you see the gas man, Rich Griffin. We'll be back with more from Paris Auto Speedway. Welcome back to Paris Auto Speedway. You want to keep up to date with what's going on in the SCRA? Log on to www.scra.com. Well, as we continue to look at our leader, Mike Kirby, is now running up against lap traffic as now he's battling Bobby Cody, who will now go down uh, one lap. Cody, one of your 2002 Rookie of the Year contenders here for SCRA. Williams now still running second, and you see Kirby has extended his lead almost by a half a straightaway. But you got to wonder now if some of this lap traffic that he will now be facing may fall into the hands of the veteran Rip Williams. Greg DeCaris in car 14. And he will be easy pickings for Kirby as they come out of two. Charlie Eek is now in the 78 sprinter along with Rodney Argo are now in the gun sights of Kirby as they come down into one. So Kirby looks like he's uh, in a chess game, if you will, looking for the right place to make a move as he's looking to squeeze maybe in between those two sprinters, but thinks better of it as they come into two, I should say into three, Front end pushes just a bit on the Kirby mobile. And it looks like Kirby will now head to the outside and go topside to get around Michael Henriksen and long, along with Rodney Argo. Actually, you see uh, Henriksen right there on the inside lane. And Kirby will dispose of him. Williams trying to follow suit and take advantage of this lap traffic as they now come out at two. And it looks like Henriksen Acts as a little bit of a blocker there to Williams, and that will provide a little bit of extra room there for Mike Kirby. So Kirby takes it out of four, getting past Charlie Ekus now. So the lap traffic does not fall into the advantage of Rip Williams, as Williams is able to safely uh, get through those sprint cars as well. Looking back in the back, there you see Michael Henriksen along with Rodney Argo. Those guys are a lap down currently along with uh, Bobby Cody. There you see getting a little bit of a nudge from Steve Osling, Gary W. Howard. Now that is a race for position for the uh, third and fourth spot here in this 50 lap main event. Argo slaps the front straightaway wall and everybody gets by him. There you see Corey Cruzman now becoming a part of the mix behind Steve Osling, but it doesn't look like Argo has done anything to that sprint car. So he'll just motor on down the road here on this clay oval. Bobby Cody and Michael Henriksen lapped vehicles as we go back up front to see what is going on with Mike Kirby as he takes out on four, and now we have a slowing car along the main straightaway, and it looks like Rodney Argo did do some damage to that sprint car, so that will bring us to a caution period. Argo and his TCR Shaver Ford-powered sprint car, the only Ford power here in the SCRA action. That'll take us to caution. We'll be back with more with SCRA right after this. Welcome back to Paris Auto Speedway as we're set to go back to action. Rodney Argo brought out the uh, most recent caution period. And 
lineup. Looks like he is done for the night as he might have done some damage to that rear end of the vehicle. Kirby now bringing it into one. Williams still in second. Williams has closed on Kirby various times through this race as Kirby has, for the most part, kept things down on the low side. Williams has uh, been uh, searching the whole racetrack, if you will, as he now goes up top, looking for some traction on the cushion and can't get enough bite as they come out of two. Kirby slamming the door on him. And now Williams going to go on the low side, looking to the inside of that five sprint car and still no avail here. And he's going to go top side once again. A little bit of an advantage, but to no avail. Williams now going to go top side once again. A little bit pushed by Kirby as they come out of four. And it looks like Williams will officially lead that lap. He'll take it up top again. And we are under caution. Unfortunately, that will nullify the previous lap. And that will give Kirby the lead as we'll get back to green. It looks like Brian Bernard has stopped in the back straightaway. So that will take us to caution. We'll be back with more from the back. Welcome back to the pass. Paris Auto Speedway as we are set to go back to grain. Brian Bernard not doing any major damage to his sprinter. As Kirby now takes him into three. Williams going to go top side once again as we saw the Ripper make a move on Kirby just before the caution period. In fact, temporarily led a lap, but unfortunately because of going back to the previous lap in the rule book, Williams is relegated back to second place. Now we see Kirby going topside, which he hasn't done that much of, and we have trouble in four. It looks like Charlie Ekus, along with Corey Kruseman, in a bad spill. In fact, let's take another quick look in our replay. As you see the cars coming out of four, you'll see the number one sprinter of Corey Kruseman make a very vicious snapping roll. And that obviously takes us to a red light uh, period. As you see Charlie Ekus on his top. We'll be back. Back to green action here at the Bass Paris Auto Speedway as now Steve Bosling goes underneath Rip Williams and will take over second place. And Mike Kirby continues to be your leader. So we have a seesaw battle for the second and third spot as now Osling on the tail tank of Mike Kirby as they come into three. Osling stumbling just a bit, and Williams trying to get back on the inside to get back that second position. Just to give you an update uh, in our most recent caution period, or I should say our red light stop, they're brought out by that nasty flip by Corey Kruseman. Kruseman is A-OK. -okay. In fact, reports where he was uh, temporarily unconscious for a brief period, but he's uh, awake and alert, and that's great news. Uh, Charlie Ekes is A-OK, -okay, but unfortunately, both of those cars are done for the night. So Corey Kuzman, who's been paddle battling for the points championship again, will not continue on in this 50-lap main event. Mike Kirby continues to be your leader. Steve Osling, Rip Williams running second and third, and now we have a three-way battle for the lead. This is so typical of what you see in SCRA action. Close wheel-to-wheel -wheel combat week after week. Rip Williams, the veteran here in SCRA. In fact, he was uh, tied coming into this night for the uh, most main event wins in SCRA history with Corey Cruzman. And now Williams looking to the inside and takes away that second spot. Nice move as they head into one. And Osling says, hey, I want it back as he puts a wheel to the inside as they come out of two. So Williams now looking to the tail tank there of Mike Kirby, and Osling wants a part of that. Great battle between these three veterans here of SCRA action. And we are under caution again, and it looks like Bobby Cody has pointed in the wrong direction there in turn four. We'll step aside for another short break. You're watching the SCRA Sprint Car Series here from the Bass. Welcome back to the past Paris Auto Speedway as Mike Kirby continues to be your leader as we're set to go back to green. Rip Williams running second, Steve Osling running third, Charles Davis Jr. in fourth, 
Gary W. Howard in fifth, and you'll see the gas man, Rich Griffin, trying to be a part of this mix as well. Williams with a little bit of a push, and there you see Osling sneaking underneath as they come out of two. So Steve Osling takes over the second position. Williams now running third. Davis running fourth, and gas man, the gas man Griffin, along with Damien Gardner, now wanting to be a mix. And now you see Osling trying to get to the inside of Mike Kirby as they come out of two, head into three. Great battle amongst your top five here in SCRA action as the laps continue to click down here in our 50 lap main event. Everybody cleanly coming through one and two as now you see Osling on the tail tank of Mike Kirby. Steve Osling in his Oki chassis shaver powered sprinter. It's a nice bite out of two. He's now trying to follow that same lower groove that Kirby has been on all evening long. It's a little bit of a bite and able to gain some ground on Kirby. And you know, uh, Steve Osling's thinking in his mind, what is it going to take to get underneath or around that number five sprint car? Mike Kirby out of Torrance, California. He's a man that's not only used to the sprint car wars, but to uh, some stock car racing on dirt. As now you see Rip Williams trying to get to the inside of Osling. In fact, Mike Kirby has done a, a fair amount of racing in figure eight action. Has been a figure eight champion in the past. In fact, he has actually been a promoter of figure eight racing throughout Southern California. Kirby continues to lead. Williams now looking to the outside of Osling. And it doesn't look like Kirby can even extend uh, that much of a lead over Osling as Osling has been working it hard and now going to look to the outside. No coming back low. And you see Williams trying to look down low into Osling as they come out of four. Charles Davis Jr. you see just momentarily there in the background. And Osling's going to go up top and see if there's anything up there traction wise. Getting closer to the finish now as Osling takes both wheels up as they come out of four. Steve Osling known as the Mexican national champion around, around the SCRA ranks. Been around for about 18 years driving sprint cars. So he's a guy who definitely knows how to get around these uh, clay ovals here around the uh, western part of the United States. In fact, we have uh, three veterans, if you will, here in the top three, as you see Austin once again with wheels up coming down that back straight away. A little bit of a push and a little bit of a nudge by Osling. And Williams and Davis looking to be part of this back. So the action gets even tighter. And now a little bit of a nudge again as they come out of two by Osling against Kirby. Williams now looking to the inside as they come out of four, and it looks like the Ripper will get by Osling as they take it down into one. Osling trying to fight back for that second spot. So the Ripper goes back and forth with Osling as now you see Damien Gardner and Charles Davis Jr. wanting to be part of this mix. And as all that battle takes place, Mike Kirby kind of extends his lead just a little bit. Gardner now going to go to the top side with Osling and Davis. Three wide out of turn four. Kirby takes it down low. Very cleanly takes it out of two. So very effectively working that bottom groove all night long. So Mike Kirby will be your victor here in 50 laps of action with the SCRA at Paris Auto Speedway. His second win of the year here in SCRA action goes flag to flag 
had uh, some definite challenges from Rip Williams and Steve Osling, but is able to fight them off. So we'll step aside for this break. We'll have a conversation with our winner right after this. Tonight's action with the SCRA is being brought to you by Napa Auto Parts and by Auto Trader Magazine. Well, our SCRA veteran Mike Kirby goes flag to flag. And now let's join him in our Napa Auto Parts winner circle. Here's Mike Kirby. Mike, let me catch you real quick here. Nice win for you guys. Uh, it was a tough battle between uh, you and Rip as well as you and Steve Osling there for a while. Yeah, yeah, Brett said on the red, he said, Steve's coming, you better keep a stay on the bottom and don't, don't get out of the groove. So that's all we could try to do. What was the strategy coming into tonight? 50 laps is a little bit different for you guys? Yeah, I usually have good luck about 45 in the last five. I seem to blow it or get caught in the lap traffic or something, but it was good to us tonight. That'll take care of things from Paris Auto Speedway. I'm J.R. Ibarra. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.